In this video tutorial, what I'd like to do is just start out by using the templates that are located right here to make uh, your business card. So again, with the way Microsoft has this laid out is this is what they consider to be the most popular templates that people are utilizing. And this down below is just more templates. In other words, these are other templates that people uh, don't utilize or, or the most popular, how they figure out what is most popular and what uh, you know what to put in another category such as uh, business forms or whatever I don't know exactly how that's done but anyway we're gonna go over here which just says business cards and I'm gonna click on business cards and when I open this up you're going to see that I now have my screen has changed and over here up on top I have the templates that Microsoft says that are uh, at their website office.com templates and then down below here you'll see a group of templates that are considered to be installed or are installed on this computer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select a template that my intention is I want to be able to put my photograph on this template. So you know if I've never done any kind of design work before I'm probably going to be looking for a template where it sort of makes sense that I have some space for me to put uh, if you will a photograph. So in other words something like this would work, something like this would work, something down here would work but uh, possibly some of this other wouldn't allow me to have enough room. Now once you become skilled at using Microsoft Publisher of course you can go in here and move all this text around. But what I'm going to do is start out with something really basic and I'm going to go ahead and click on this template and when I do you'll see that I get a little bit of a larger picture here. Now at this point if you decided that you wanted to change the colors which by the way you can do later on without a problem but let's just say you decided to what we have here is what we call color schemes and what color schemes are is they are where Microsoft brought in a designer a professional designer if you will and most people don't realize but certain colors go together well now you may look at some of these and go I would never have a business card that looks like that that color but what they're trying to do is to get the colors that would work or say contrast uh, between the two of them they would be easier to see so if you wanted to get a rough idea you could just scroll down here and you could just click on something and as you can see without really doing anything more than just selecting and clicking you can go up here and try and see what the font would, you know, what the, um, sorry, what the uh, color scheme would look like. I'm going to go up because it's easier for me to see this thing in full screen. I'm going to go up and select this. You also could, if you decided to, have right here a different font. In other words, you know, the the type of text that you're using. Again, it's more like you're picking something and it's really difficult to see here what this is but that's the point of this so I'm just gonna go ahead up here and just go back to that default and then of course we have an option here that says page size and we have landscape and this is considered to be landscape a business card most of them look like a landscape and we could also go in here and say we want portrait so again that's a choice you can make in the beginning it's not the way I do it but I just wanted you to know what the point of this was now once I've selected the card all I basically have to do is say create click on the create button and there's my business card now, a couple things that I want to point out here just so you know the reason why my uh, business card says Sacramento City College Freeport Boulevard this is my phone number so on and so forth it's because over here underneath file when I put it in info and I edited it in info right here that's where it got that information from so I could change that here if I wanted to again you can take and change it here or the other place that you can change it and I'll show you if I go back to home is that if you move over the top of this you can see that this little this little icon pops up right here and I can go in here and just say edit business information which is the same screen I saw before I can say edit here and I can go in and change something here when I do this this will change what's on this on this business card but it will also will enable me to change any future publications that I've make so for example if I went back in later on and made a flyer 
or whatever, it would pull up that correct information. So I just kind of wanted to let you know what this really uh, did or meant. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and close out of here. What I want you to see uh, right here is that another thing that some of people may not realize, but this is actually made up, all of this stuff here is made up of little square boxes. So, for example, this is nothing more than a box filled with blue. This right here is a box filled with green. And then it's kind of like thinking about when you were in, um, you know, say, second grade and the teacher would have you make a great big poster. And your poster was going to be where you were going to show your visit to the zoo. And you wanted to have, you know, a picture, a background of the lions and the tigers and, uh, you know, the monkeys and all that. And you wanted to have this on this, on this if you will, this uh large piece of paper that you're going to do as a project. So basically you kind of have to think of these as being something that is just a series of boxes that you can move around. So for example if I wanted to move this down I can just click on it and select it. I could go in here and I could make it larger if I wanted to. I could make it smaller. So this will kind of give you an idea that that's really what's happening. So it's like we're making it up with boxes. We can make uh, this text is another box that is laying on top of it. So if I select here, you'll see I get some selection handles. So what I wanted to do is just essentially give you an idea of how you go in, create a business card using the template, and then a little bit about how this is sort of laid out. And when we come back, I'm going to spend a little bit more time talking about how we can edit this information that's on this card and also be talking about how we utilize these menu items up here in order to do that.